believe that people should have the right to express themselves, um, but we also believe in law and order. We encourage people to be peaceful in, in them demonstrating uh, how, they're, how they feel, and uh, we're going to have the adequate forces uh, necessary to ensure that. Miami's police chief says they are bringing enough resources to handle crowds anywhere from five to 50,000. NBC News plans to bring you a special report on this arraignment. Lester Holt, Laura Jarrett and several other legal contributors will bring you continuous coverage live from Miami. Definitely something the entire nation is uh, keeping up with oh. and watching. So it'll be interesting sure to see are. how it plays out. So stay tuned That's to learn right. the latest here on NBC 23. That's right. It is Tuesday. Happy Tuesday to you. 6.30 this morning. 6.30 <laughs> in the morning, 30 minutes. If you usually get on the road by 7, time to chop, chop. Mm. Let's get moving. Chop, chop, chop into the chop day. Chop, chop. Yes. <laughs> like well, the axes that you just I had. know. You guys, what it's really fun. <laughs> I said I'd rather take an axe to the face than dealing with these hot takes. But That's how I not. feel. Well, hey, but, <laughs> no, the guy agreed. He was like, yes, yeah. for sure. Yeah, like, he nodded. He's like, yeah. I mean, it, it's probably pretty much the same pain. Like, oh, you go outside and immediately you're like, oh, it's scorching. I'm melting, right? Yes, it, for sure. Definitely. And it's not going away anytime soon, unfortunately. But if you are heading out and about across the valley this morning, we are starting off with temperatures in the 80s. That's live from the DHR Health Cam in Edinburgh and also from South Padre Island. We're seeing just a bit of cloud cover this morning and some haze and we are expecting